Greetings farmers and friends and welcome to another exciting edition of AgriScope. AgriScope is a production of the communications unit at the Department of Agriculture and is brought to you in collaboration with your family station ZIZ. This is your host Eric Brown urging you to stay tuned as we explore the intriguing world of agriculture. The sweet potato weevil Silus formicarius is a pest that is increasingly affecting the sweet potato production here on St. Kitts. This pest annually destroys a considerable portion of the sweet potato crop, causing immense losses to farmers and consumers. The weevil attacks the root and stems of the sweet potato plant. In an effort to further combat this pest, the Department of Agriculture collaborated with CADI and the Florida Association for Voluntary Action in the Caribbean and the Americas, FAVACA, in facilitating a workshop for farmers and extension personnel. This two-day workshop included discussions on the management of the sweet potato weevil, as well as field visits to the farms of Solomon Morton in Keon, Mr. Carlson Nisbet in Newton Ground, as well as the Cardi Demonstration Station at Estridge. First off, Ms. Patlin Titus highlighted the importance of managing the sweet potato weevil. You know Silas formicarius as the most important pest of sweet potato in St. Kitts and Nevis. We would say it's one of the most economic importance because it causes the most damage. I know we have been trying to manage this pest for the longest time, using pheromones. And I think we have, we could say, limited success. We have used traps from, different traps. The latest is the one from the Mission Taiwan. And uh, we in Cardi have been doing a lot of work with it. And we have some results that we have passed on to extension, but there's still a challenge managing the sweet potato weevil. So through Favaka, we have secured the services of Dr. Abner Hammond, who is, uh, who could be considered a specialist in, in managing Silas formicarius, because Silas formicarius is not only confined to our part of the world, it's also in the United States, it's in Puerto Rico, it's in the, all the Leeward Islands. In the Windman Islands, uh, it doesn't. Ex we don't. We didn't have it in Saint Vincent, and I don't think it's a major pest in Trinidad. They have a different pest complex there. But in the Leeward Islands, including Jamaica, Puerto Rico, as I said, you know, it's a pest there. So managing this pest is very important to all of us. So if we can get some assistance, which will further help us to, you know, increase our management practices and get clean sweet potato for export, that would be you know, great, something that we're looking forward to. So Dr. Hammond is here to assist us. And from what I see is, is more like training the trainers. So the technicians, we hope that you will take up the training and we could do some evaluations and be able to pass it on to the farmers so that we will end up with clean sweet potato for export to St. Martin, wherever we, we want to send our, our produce to. Director of Agriculture, Mr. Ashton Stanley also gives us his input on the importance of combating this pest here on St. Kitts, seeing that the sweet potato plays an important role in our diet. Mr. Hammond, welcome to St. Kitts, and we are grateful for your services through for, for VACA. Farmers, staff of the Department of Agriculture, Welcome to all. It is extremely a pleasure to have Dr. Hammond here to assist us with one of the major challenges with respect to sweet potato production. As Ms. Titus pointed out, it is not because that we are not trying and doing, but this pest has proven so far to be very overwhelming. And of course, we are grateful for the efforts 
that Cardi has been frontlining for the assistance of Favaka, not only for this particular press, but other press that we have had assistance for in the past in terms of agricultural development on a whole. I was told this morning by Dr. Hammond that we share some experience, some similar experience or uh, experiences because Louisiana is one state also that grows sugar and is very well known for sweet potato production. And as it was then traditionally, sugar cane grown on St. Kitts was also rotated with sweet potato. And so sweet potato is very dear to the hearts of us here in both St. Kitts and Nevis. And so we have a project on the ground in collaboration with the University of Magill. And they also would be looking at some opportunities for the control of the sweet potato weaver. And we also would want to recommend and support that initiative. I was in Trinidad just last week to learn that sweet potato is on the menu of KFC. It is an initiative that was personally invoked by the Minister of Agriculture in Trinidad. When you go to the KFC outlets, you would be, if you're interested, you could ask for the sweet potato as part of the, 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 the menu. And so we have one KFC outlet in St. Kitts, and I would want to think that they could bring that form of experience to St. Kitts in, us, in, in, um, in an effort to increase um, the production of sweet potato and use of sweet potato in St. Kitts and Nevis. In addition to that, in support of the sweet potato, through another initiative, we have just con concluded a second mission of food and agriculture workshop with respect to the development of breadfruit and breadnut. And one of the key recommendations coming out of that project is to develop a TCP, which would help to bring some form of assistance in terms of equipment and so forth for the development of the breadfruit. I see no reason why those same equipment cannot be used to bring some value addition to the sweet potato. And so, in a general effort, we are looking to move the sweet potato forward through value addition if we could get these instruments. We would also want to look at the opportunities for sweet potato in St. Kitts and Nevis. And we have a national target or a national demand of 492,000 kilograms of sweet potato demanded on the federal level for sweet potato, which means, and we're only doing 40% of that. So there is tremendous opportunity for sweet potato development in St. Kitts and Nevis. When we look also at the growth in the tourism sector, we could be exporting sweet potato locally. And when we say we could be exporting sweet potato locally, it simply means you could feed the tourists when they come with the sweet potato. They, they'll export it in their bellies. And that's what we mean when you're exporting agricultural produce locally. So we feed them with the sweet potato when they come. And I believe that they look forward to that. I'm always reminded of when I speak of these things, of a popular song by Bob Marley, he says they're belly full, but they're hungry. The new language that we use when we talk about food and food security is food and nutrition security. Food and nutrition, so they've added on nutrition. And so when we're looking at promoting agricultural produce, we must also look at the nutritional value and how the mix in your diet could achieve what you're looking for in terms of your nutrition. So when 
When we think of Bob Marley's song, the belly full but the hungry, of course you could fill your belly. But the nutritional value you don't have because you don't have the correct mix of ingredients. And so sweet potato must be used target as a target form of nutrition. So when we use it, we mix it with the proper ingredients. It is a complex carbohydrate and it is very good in terms of the nutrition, in terms of how, how you mix it. So in terms of from the promotional level, we have to look at the, the health and nutrition benefits. We know what is happening with young people, with, well, everybody, with our communicable or um, non-communicable diseases in terms of well, um, diabetes and hypertension and so forth. It is also important when we're talking about health and nutrition to be reminded of the another FAO initiative of the development of the food-based dietary guidelines. That is with the Ministry of Health currently. So how would the food-based dietary guidelines help us to use our agricultural produce in the formulation of well-developed diets, especially for young people? That is critically important. And I believe that the sweet potato can make a very important impact on how we get this mix for our young people. So basically, I would want to thank Cardi for the initiative and personally Miss Titus for her continued persistence in looking at what is going on in the local agricultural landscape, see what our challenges are and I believe that is one of Cardi's mandate also, that if they don't have the expertise in-house, that through collaboration, through networking, that would they be able to source the particular expertise and bring to us and help us to solve or reduce the challenges that we are having on the local front. So thank you, Cardi. Thank you, Dr. Hammond. For This brings us to the end of our program today. If you have any comments or query for us, you can write us at Agriscope in care of Department of Agriculture, Box 39, Lagreed, Bastia. Or you can drop us a line at email doastk at gmail.com. You can even contact us at telephone number 465-2335. This is your host, Eric Brown. Reminding you to support homegrown, our very own, happy farming.